In the last month, we've been lucky enough to visit both Caravan Salon in Dusseldorf and the Motorhome and Caravan Show in Birmingham. Both of these incredible shows have been focused on new innovation and brand new vehicles. So we've come to Oak Tree Motorhomes here in Nottingham to see about the second-hand market. We're here with Rob and uh, Rob runs Oak Tree Motorhomes in Nottingham. How is the second-hand market nowadays, Rob? Very buoyant, obviously due to the lack of new stock as well, I think. Um, right staycationing with Covid I think pushed a lot of people. Well actually we were speaking to Swift not two days ago at the NEC show and they had a record day selling motorhomes and caravans that day. That was two days ago so that was Friday. That's brilliant. Isn't so it? the um, the second hand market must be doing well and I guess the lead times now are getting further further pushed away so more people should be looking at second hand used yeah. motorhomes. I think if you order a van today you could be looking at the end of next year or 2024 so if you can buy a used van that you like with all the accessories Mm. at a cheaper price than you, why wouldn't you? Right, and I've seen on the way in, you've got a good looking bit of stock out there, Rob. Yeah, we've sort of, it's taken a while to get back to the stock levels that we used to have, but yeah, yeah, we've got a really full, full yard of vehicles and a uh, really good package. Let's go and take a look at something. What's really exciting is we've come through the gates and there is a whole host of different styles of vans here. It's been a long time since we've been to a second-hand dealership and seen such a range. It's a really great time to be looking around. Look how pretty this little VW camper van is. Our friend Tash uses her as a day van, but also as her daily runaround as well. It's a really nice van. Amazingly, this little van will sleep four people. Two on the rock and roll bed and two up top in the pop top. These are all fairly new, so range from about £50,000 to £60,000 mark. Right, we're in a panel van now. This is a Fairford Auto Sleeper. It's a 21 plate, it's done less than 7,000 miles. This particular van's got over £3,000 worth of extras on and it's a big saving on a new van. But the best thing is it's available now. You'll see you've got four traveling seats here. You've got the dinette at the front. But what you do have is a small rear lounge where you can open these doors up and just look out into the countryside. Right here, you've got a wet room, toilet and shower. And there's a nice sized kitchen, plenty of work surface on here. Cooker, hob, uh, fridge below, plenty of cupboards. Do you like this one, Linz? I really do actually, yeah. And the fact that it's only got 7,000 miles and all those extras, it's a bargain. And it's available now. Now this is a bit of me. This is a Bailey Alliance 592. It's a 2019 and it's lovely. Come in. For 49,995, this is a lot of motorhome for your money, especially when you compare it to the V-dubs that we saw a minute ago. This is a really lovely layout. It's only got two berths. This comes into a big berth, but the bathroom is spectacular. Uh, the kitchen's great it's at the back and this would be great surface area for chopping and cutting the fridge is a decent domestic size got a decent microwave but this is my favorite feature the bathroom that's a really great size for a small van isn't it this is a 2018 Besser car E496. It's only got 8,000 miles on it. Now we had a 495, which this replaced. We love that van. Let's go and have a look inside. This brings back some great memories. It's got the rear lounge that we love. It's a really good family van. It's a six berth with six traveling seats and it's got the rear U-shaped lounge that we absolutely love. This is newer than the one we had. The electric drop down bed replaced the cab bed that our boys slept in when they were tiny and the rear lounge could be made up into a really spacious double bed this is a bigger wardrobe than i remember from ours and it's a classic wet room we use this all the time with our kids it was great this four-year-old van has only got eight thousand miles on the clock so at 61,995, this is an absolute bargain and again it's ready to drive away this is a two-year-old van it's a 2020 apache from auto trail it's a six birth van there's less than seven thousand miles on the clock and it's less than seventy thousand pounds it's incredible we've got six berths so two up here two in the middle and the rear shaped lounge becomes another bed we've got a great size bathroom and this kitchen is a corker and it's less than seven thousand miles on the clock it is a lot of van for your money it's got one of the nicest bathrooms I've seen in a van this size. We always go with the rear lounge when we're looking for a new family motorhome. It gives us separate areas for each of the kids and it always makes a nice size bed. We've just found a 2021 Swift Kentucky 599 Grand Prix edition. 
it is lovely this is a four berth van so this dinette area turns into a double bed great size kitchen with work surface area including a little shelf i like the shelf now this has got a feature that i would love in our van it is the bathroom that goes across the whole of the van to my left we have a good size toilet and sink and to my right we have a very good shower the bedroom at the back feels really boutique and nicey because it's got the fixed bed it's going to have a garage underneath super lovely duvalet mattress and it feels great the other thing i noticed with a lot of the second hand vans they've got extras in already like the two tv points that you see they've both got tvs awnings quite often come on them and gas bottles and lockers <laughs> they tend to be filled as well for a luxury van two years old less than seven thousand miles on the clock and it's available now we've just had a really interesting conversation with a couple that have, are here on site looking at motorhomes today they were at the nec last week and they're now looking at their options for the second-hand market. Actually, they're tossing up between a relatively new death left and a Hymer that is just five years older and just 11,000 miles extra on the clock. What they're seeing is that potentially the Hymer is much better value for money. It's not brand new and it's not even newer. These are the options you can choose between. Right, lastly guys, we're gonna look at a couple of A-class motorhomes. Right here, I've got a 2015 Hymer and I've got a 2015 Bursner. Right, first up, I've got a Hymer B544. It's a two berth motorhome. As I said, it's a 2015. This one's got 28 and a half thousand miles on it and it's up to 67,995. Also 2015, we've got this Bursner Vizio i690. This has only got 9,000 miles on it. It's a four berth motorhome and it's up for 54,995. Let's go and take a look at this one. Okay, it is lovely inside. The color scheme is not to our taste, but it's lovely. It really, there's loads of room in here. Captain seat swing around here. Got a really, really big dinette area at the front. And of course, being an A-class, you've got the usual drop down bed above here. But at the back, let's go and take a look at the back beds. So it's the back we really, really like. Um, it's kind of two singles with the infill cushion in the middle, which I prefer than the double bed, to be honest with you. It's much, much bigger. And the finish at the back, beautiful. Got a lovely big fridge freezer here, and the kitchen area is okay. Not much work surface on this one, but it's ample. But for birth, um, and it's way, way cheaper than the Heimer. I figured they're both German made, so, and I thought Burstner and Heimer were of a similar kind of fit and finish, but clearly not. There you go, guys. Standard bathroom, wet room in this one. And this sink unit will swivel back out the way to reveal the shower. Interesting position for the door. I've not seen this very often. It's great at O3 motorhomes because all the motorhomes here are unlocked and you can go and take a look around at your leisure. On first impressions, I can see why this is a more expensive motorhome. The finish is fantastic. This yeah. wood is amazing, isn't it? It is. It might not be quite to my taste. It's a bit orangey for, for my styling, but it is good quality. I can see the difference in the finish and the quality of this Hymer. This is a wonderfully spacious motorhome. I love this front area. It's a great living room, isn't it? And a huge, huge table here. Absolutely. Now this is only a two berth limbs. I don't know. I reckon I could get my George on there quite easily. The, the two berths are from up here. The bed drops down. So it's not going to interfere with your living space. So you can stay in bed. One of you can stay in bed. One can get up. No problems. I really like this layout. I can see why Hymers are so popular with couples. Mm. This, as a van for two people, is spacious. It's got everything you need. That bathroom looks impressive as well. I've not looked in it yet. I don't want to leave dirty, muddy prints on the floor. It's a great size. It's absolutely fine, isn't it? Yeah. It's fine. And there's hooks. Um, one thing else I noticed, especially with the Hymer as we came in, it's the little extra touches they do that are fantastic. Yeah, click the little plus that, oh, see it? Oh, oh, I see. And there it is. Oh gosh, how clever is this? Isn't it? To give you a separate shower. It's the German engineering, isn't it? It's That'll ingenious, isn't it? Give loads fantastic. Of space. Yeah. You want one? Plenty of space still got too many kids this one in particular as well has got aircon fitted limbs uh, has it included in that price as well so there the we go you know it is a bit more of a premium price but i think you're getting a bit more of a premium motorhome with premium finish 
and uh, things like the uh, air conditioning unit and stuff like that. And considering it's a 2015 vehicle, it's not like... That's the thing. You can't think of motorhomes in terms of mileage like you do cars. So 2015 has done nowhere near the kind of mileage that a 2015 car is likely to have done. Sure. Yeah. Well, that, that person of elegance next door is thinking, what is it, 8,000 miles in one? seven years. That hasn't been used at all. We've nearly done 8,000 miles in our van already. <laughs> it's not even been a year. We were just leaving and I got a little bit overexcited because look at the size of this hanging space. And that's not all. Look. Right. I see why they're the perfect vans for couples. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. You could easily do full time in this. Yeah, it's a decent fridge freezer as well. Right, have we looked yeah. around enough? Have we shown them enough of the uh, what's available in the second-hand market right now? Yeah, I think so. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go and find Rob and let we'll wrap up with Rob, shall we? Yeah. And uh, find out the kind of package that he gives with these motorhomes. Mm. Rob, thanks for letting us have a look around no some problem. of these motorhomes to, here today. Um, tell me, why should people buy used over new? Uh, I think a few of the key reasons are obviously in the last sort of 18 months prices have gone up exponentially with as with everything the cost of living yeah so you know 10 fifteen thousand pound increase on you plus the depreciation on the use plus the extras yeah you could end up saving twenty thousand pounds on a, a van that's a year old 18 months old and it's available now of course and it's now with extras that you may not that are viewed lovely that you may not want to pay yeah. for, but they're on the van. Right, we've seen someone out there with, with £8,000 worth of extras. Yeah. yeah. And all in's £1,000 and a long £600, £700, pounds, so it sure, all adds up. Sure, sure. You were telling me about uh, the, the kind of things that you do different. In fact, tell me some of the points that you sell them, including the Campbell thing as I'm out. Yeah, we're one of the few dealers that offer a three-year warranty, European warranty, RAC-backed, yeah. um, on any age van that we sell. Um, and we do change the all the filters, the cam belt, if it's due, which no, no not well, very few people do, I believe. Sure. Uh, it's a very expensive job. Uh, we do go to great lengths in preparation. Um, it was the, it was the time that we were here getting our battery installed that I saw the operation that was going on, and we clocked everything that they're doing. I saw them prepare motorhomes for days before they put them up for sale. And it was that confidence I had that I wanted to come back here um, and talk to Rob and show you guys some of the second-hand vans that he's got for sale. So Rob, thanks so much for, for your time, buddy. So it's omcmotorhomes.co.uk, Rob? Yep. Fantastic, and you can go on there, have a look at the range that I did earlier, yep. and get the phone number and ring and come and see someone and have a look around some of these motorhomes. And there's yeah. a walk-around video of the van as well, so you can view it from your armchair. Oh, right. Well, there we are. It's fantastic. Don't even have to come down here. But like I said, guys, if you come down here, the vans are open. You can have a wander around and have a look inside. And remember, lay out, lay out, lay out. Oh, complete. Ah, ah. This fair for it. Oh, I can't say that word. It's a fair, fair, fair third. I can't say fair third. I can't do this. You have to do this one.